I hate, I hate feeling like this. I'm about to cry now. Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel or it's not really even morning. What time is it? I've been in my robe all day. It is 150. <laughs> Lovely. So good afternoon guys. Uh, today we don't have that much planned. Actually we don't really have anything planned but I do think I'm going to get out of the house. Um, I have spent most of the morning uh, finalizing my birthday plans. My invites went out and uh, just kind of getting excited about the fact that I'm about to have a very large milestone birthday. It's like fun and like at the same time because I'm going to be 30 and I feel like when you hit 30 there's just no more room for like immaturity. Not that you know not that I'm going around out here just being immature up and down these streets but at the same time like when you hit 30 I just feel like you're more of an adult than a child and I still kind of feel like a kid sometimes I don't know which is also something I would like to work on this year coming up I I don't know maybe I'll talk to you guys about that later about how I've been feeling lately as far as like approaching my 30th birthday hold on I got a phone call Pioneer Village, Kentucky. We're gonna decline that. I don't know anyone from there. Anyway, and I came down here to get Bash's lunch ready because I figured he'd be waking up soon. I'm surprised he's not up yet. I can't remember what time I put him down, but usually he does not sleep till two o'clock in the afternoon. So I'm sure he'll be getting up in a minute. In fact, he's just starting to move around now. So he'll probably be up in a in just a bit then i think i'm going to get him dressed and uh maybe we'll venture out because i do need an outfit for my birthday so maybe i'll go look for one today potentially buy one if i find one brandon is out of town so it's just me and bashy i guess this is kind of like a solo day in the life and uh yeah so let's see what we get into your lunch is ready i just made him some macaroni and cheese and I'm about to make myself some chicken salad. I'm gonna give him some of that. Don't cry, we're just gonna get in the, in the high chair. Lunch is a messy one today. He's eating macaroni here and my chicken salad. This is kind of like a lame little lunch today, but he was refusing dinner last night and so I'm pretty much willing to give him anything just to get food in his belly. So we've been sitting here for probably another 15, 20 minutes and he's still refusing everything that I've offered him. So I've just given him two pouches and we're gonna move on. Anytime he refuses, which isn't often, it has been these last couple days and I don't know why. Today and last night have been probably the worst it's been in a long, long time. He usually just eats whatever I give him, which has been very nice, but he seems like he's full so. We are going to go ahead and uh, and just be done. Nobody wants to hear all your screaming, honey. Can you wave? Can you say hi? Good job. Good job. package here. I just checked my mail before I got into the car. I don't know how to open this. Tear at perforation. I'm not that strong. I believe that this is my new car mount. Yes, it is. It's a car mount. Finally, I used to have one and I've been putting off getting a new one because the one that I bought broke like not long after I got it. And then I just said like, oh, I'll order another one. And then I was like, I just won't film in the car. But for me personally, I need to film in my car a lot. So, because I'm in here all the time. So having a working car mount is definitely important. 
Let's see how it goes. It has been probably like 15 minutes and this thing will not suction to my dashboard. It will suction to everything in this car but my dashboard. It'll suction here without me doing anything. But the moment I go to suction it here, press it down, press this button in the center, and then pull the latch. It's nothing. We are in the Starbucks drive through I just ordered a caramel creme brulee latte. This is my go-to for this time of year. I still do not have the car mount working. I'm holding it in my hand with my camera attached right now, I'm trying to figure it out while I sit here in the parking lot. Yes. It's gonna be 525. Thank you. Perfect. Have a good day. The wonders of life got the prettiest side for everyone to enjoy. Standing up close by the Christmas tree Glimmering light, I am right where I want to be I'll be home for a couple of days Wander around with you You and me in the cold, thought it'd never be true Wherever I go, I got you Oh, I have stopped running, there is no way trying You better loosen your belt Drinking up wine by the fire. I probably look a little crazy, but I decided to get my eyebrows threaded and I'm so happy. I'll talk about it more in the car. Ooh, it is dark. You probably can't tell, but it is getting dark out here already. It's 523. I didn't do as much filming in the mall as I was hoping I could. I was trying to work around Bash and how he was doing. He was completely fine while we were there, but I just know like eventually he was gonna get sleepy because we've been out for a while. I was trying on a couple things for my birthday. I didn't really see anything, so I may wear something I already have or I may have to come back out as we get closer to it, but I I definitely did not find anything today but like I said in the elevator I did get my eyebrows threaded and um, I'm really actually I'm really happy with them I haven't had my eyebrows threaded in forever I usually just do my own eyebrows because I'm too like nervous to let anyone else do them I think I've let the lady at my nail place do them like a couple months ago and that was probably the first time I'd had them waxed in years. But anyway, we are headed home. I'm just going to drop Bash off in his crib for a little cat nap, which would technically be his second nap today, but he's not gonna sleep the whole time because it is close to dinner time. I just know he won't make it to bedtime without a meltdown if he doesn't get a little bit of rest. And then when he gets up, I'm going to make some dinner and relax. So we are back, obviously. Bash went down for his nap really easily. I knew he was getting tired, so that's that was really nice, actually. I was happy that he didn't give me any trouble going down. Um, I have been in a funk all day. Like, I've been trying to pick myself up and be, like, happy and all of that because, like I said earlier, I'm planning my birthday, and I was planning on talking to you guys about uh, how I'm feeling about that but I think I'll save that for another vlog because just now doesn't feel like the time anymore but I'm in a funk and I can't put my finger on why exactly I don't know if it's like hormonal or what but I just feel sad it could be and I know I, I almost certain that this is what it is because this is how I always get but it's Brennan's travel um he has been home I think for two weeks and now he's gone again and it felt nice to have him here and now he's gone and uh and it hurts I think that's I'm almost certain that that's what it is and I'm so happy that the season is almost over I know I'm now that I'm talking through it that's exactly why I feel like this um I got like this at the beginning of the season when he had been home all summer and then started traveling. And I think I got used to him being here for the couple days. And actually when he left, I cried a little bit. And so, um, like as he was leaving, I was crying. And so I, I'm pretty sure that that's what this is. But uh, I hate, I hate feeling like this. I'm about to cry now because it just feels like no matter what I do to try to make myself happy in um, in the moment. Like like when I was at the mall, I figured like going to the mall and 
looking for stuff for my birthday would make me feel happy which it only did for a short period of time and now I'm home and I'm feeling bad again and I don't know I just I'm ready for the season to be over so that he can be home with us more it's just getting hard and I think it's like that combined with like how Bash has been acting these last couple days which has been like I mean I know he's 15 months old but this is and this is normal for his age but it's been uncharacteristic for him so it's like hard dealing with it by myself and I'm not trying to take anything away from women who are single moms and have to deal it with it and they're you know the hard things by themselves all the time but that's just not where I am on a day-to-day -day basis I am used to having someone here with me to help me all the time and then when they're not <coughs> um, for four to six months out of the year it's hard I don't want this to be like a like depressing vlog but it's also one of the reasons why I didn't start off my vlog this morning because I just couldn't bring myself to do it I was feeling so sad I don't know I hope that like you guys aren't getting irritated with me watching this I need to like pull up my big girl panties because this isn't changing anytime soon and I'm so grateful for what he does but it's just it's hard right now that's all I guess all right here you go put your legs down all righty so this is tonight's dinner there's another one in the toaster if he wants it I just don't have it in me to fight with him tonight he you guys I don't know why I'm so emotional. I'm just not having a good day, but I'm determined to continue to try to turn the day around even now, and it's 7.07 p.m. I just don't have it in me though tonight to fight with him over food. My advice that I always give out is just keep offering. So tonight, I'm going to offer something I know he's gonna eat, and that is why he's getting waffles. I have no shame. The most important thing is, is he's getting food, and it's an Eggo waffle, and I just don't even care. If you guys feel me, comment below, but it's just that kind of day today. But tonight, I am going to make myself some dinner, and I'm gonna wait until he goes to sleep to do it, but I'm going to make this orange chicken, and I've had it before, but I had the spicy one, and it was really good, but it was almost too spicy, and I hate spicy food. So I'm going to make this, and I'm also going to make some chocolate chip cookies. That will hopefully make me feel better. And then I think I'm going to take a long bubble bath. It's been like over a week and I try to do that at least, at least once a week. Menopi. So I just need to preheat my oven to 375 Oop, There we go and while the oven heats up I'm going to go ahead and start making these chocolate chip cookies. They're out of Jesse James Decker's um, Cookbook, it's actually a lifestyle book, but whatever these are the cookies that I'm making they look so delicious So I'm excited to try those out because I just bought some ice cream and I got some new Talenti and it's chocolate chip cookie dough So I think I'm gonna have a little bit of that tonight in bed. So I have literally never made cookies from scratch and I'm worried about how big these are or how big they're gonna get when they cook. So I only did a few and they only take 10 minutes and then if that's too big, we'll make them smaller the next round. That's a lot of cookies. I don't know if I can put the recipe in my description just because uh, I don't wanna get sued. I don't know how that works since it's um, not online. But if you wanna make these cookies, I highly recommend that you, if you're making them for yourself, uh, cut the recipe in half. Alrighty guys, so um, I'm exhausted. I'm always exhausted. I feel like I never get enough sleep. I am like regretting even making those cookies because they were so delicious and I ate more than I planned to. And I don't know what it is about the holidays, but like I have no self-control when it comes to like making the sweet stuff. And I never eat like sweets and things like that 
on a day-to-day -day basis. Like I'm not really a baked goods kind of girl. It's something about Christmas time. But you know what? Come 2019, it's gonna be nothing but salads on my channel. That's what we're gonna be cooking as soon as lettuce is safe again. Salads all the time because this is ridiculous. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe as always, and I will see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.